Hi, evening. It's um, January 12th of uh, 2009. All right, we got a mock-up of our heater system for our uh, Mazda uh, EV. Uh, what we got here, this is uh, a heater I got from Amazon.com. Uh, it's basically it's designed for like, uh, I guess if you live in Alaska. It's a block heater, basically. Uh, this is a 1500 watt element. Uh, that's uh, plugged into 110 right now. Uh, what I'm going to do is I have a 12 volt. Um, I have a 12 volt uh, pump for an RV system. Now we have 12 volt hooked up to it right now. Now we're, right down here we have a uh, a bucket of water, and this bucket is uh, extremely hot. You can see that it is steaming. Right. Uh, that was 160 degrees. Pull back some. Hard to see it. Ah, uh, that's okay. It's up there, though. That's okay. But uh, what is 160 degrees? Now, um, when you're driving a car, your car is about 180, 190 degrees anyway. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pump hot water. Okay. We've got a pickup tube from a bucket. Sucks up through the pump. Goes in the heating element. Comes back down into a bucket. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pipe from uh, this uh, heating element. Now, all, we're going to pipe this all the way up to the front and tag into the, uh, the heater core that's on the truck already. Uh, 160 degrees. Now, I can take and unplug it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a, uh, in, if we have a king cap truck, uh, we're going to take and get a five-gallon um, drink bottle, uh, uh, you know, five-gallon igloo cooler, drinking cooler, and uh, we're going to tap into it with some um, through-haul connectors for, um, for like a boat, tap the lines into it, and uh, we're going to have five gallons of hot water in about 30 minutes. It took uh, 15 minutes uh, for this to get up to 160 degrees. And this is uh, maybe a gallon of water, a gallon and a half of water maybe. Uh, from and it was 70. We measured it was 70 degrees when we started, and uh, now it's 160 degrees in maintaining that. And uh, so anyway, what I'm going to do is. Uh, we're going to have a reservoir, two uh, through-hole connectors coming from it, um, the pump, all this is going to be set up in the, inside the cab. Uh, all this is going to pipe through underneath the truck and up the firewall, and we're going to tap into the uh, two connectors right there for the uh, Peter core. And next thing you know, hey, we got hot water. And AC. Yes, oh yeah, by the way, we can, and, and AC. Um, thank you for uh, reminding me of that. During the summertime, you can take and throw two bags or three bags of ice in there and pump cold water at 32 degrees going through the same coil is going to have net cooling effect. Hence, air conditioning. So, uh, anyway, that I am really happy. This is a 1500 watt element we got off of Amazon. We got this pump. Uh, it handles three gallons per minute. We got this off of eBay. You want to explain to you about the hurricane season? Oh, yeah. You had, uh, my brother came up with an idea. Explain. Nope. Well, he's talk. You go ahead. Alright. Uh, we have hurricanes around here and you have lots of power. My brother has this, uh, it's a, 1800 what, uh, it's an 1850 feet, 1500 watt, uh, continuous, uh, runs how many hours on a gallon of gas? 12 hours. 12 hours on a gallon of gas. That half well, we already tested, we ran this, 
with the heating element running off the generator, it worked. With the uh, 12 volt L, uh, 12 volt pump, we don't have to take cold baths. <laughs> we, yeah, so we can pump. We can hook this up in your bathtub, walk, and run it around, and next thing you know, you have hot water. And you get you hot some pans. <laughs> or uh, another thing you can do. Uh, Heat up a bunch of water and uh, put in your electric vehicle and you have it. <laughs> you have three things off Heat. this. Heat, AC, and hurricane season. Defrost! <laughs> number one. Defrost number one. My knees not knocking, number two. So anyway. But uh, anyway, it's uh, it works rather well. We got a hundred and sixty degree water. It didn't take 15 minutes to get that hot. So uh, basically what I'm going to do is, uh, I don't know, I might get like a three-gallon container. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm going to go to Walmart this weekend, see what they got. And, but we're going to have some kind of ice chest, uh, either a, uh, like, a, you know, the, uh, the drink coolers. Uh, anyway, something like that. Uh, anyway. This is give you a rundown of what I'm doing. Truck's coming along, um, 45 miles an hour top speed. You know, it'll maintain that for about, oh, about 15 miles. So uh, anyway, truck's going good. Uh, anyway, thank y'all very much. See y'all later.